One must learn to be flexible. Can you learn to bin and yet remain straight? And then I look at the Sears Tower and I say, ah yes, this building actually follows the Dow, for this building has the ability to bend and remain straight. Gale force winds cannot topple it, it can sway like a leaf three feet left to right. We lost the tallest building title in April of 1996 to the Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, known as the Petronas Towers. Connected by a 48-floor bridge, technically they were shorter than the Sears Tower actual floors. But, here come the spires. Those spires of 25 feet gave them a total height of 1,483 feet. They took the tallest building award. In 2005, a new building showed up in Taipei, Taiwan. Beautiful building, Taipei 101 reached 1,671 feet. 2007, the Burj Dubai in the United Arab Emirates went up to 2,400 feet. Last year, the Burj Dubai changed its name to the Burj Khalifa of Dubai. They had to get all new t-shirts for their gift shop. And they added extra height. The tallest building on the planet today, the Burj Khalifa of Dubai, is 2,717 feet. I know it's not in Chicago, but do not fret and do not cry. Well, who designed the Burj Khalifa of Dubai? Of course, a Chicago guy. Adrian Smith, who also did the Trump Hotel and the NBC Tower. All the way over to the right, series Roman Dodd is a great, is perched atop the Art Deco Chicago Board of Trade from 1930. In 1980, World Class Architect from Germany, home